Did you see Joe Manchin's high heater op-ed in the Wall Street Journal? Uh oh. Oh my out. God. Yep. Joe Manchin went for it. Well, Joe Manchin's running for president. He is. I think. Okay. So let me ask Sachs right there. Sachs, Joe Manchin, Nikki Haley, and who's the guy from Florida? What's your question? By the way, there was DeSantis. a big defection that was leaked this week. Ron Lauder flipped from Trump to DeSantis. That's a big one because Lauder is good for a lot of money, five to 10 million at least. Joe Manchin, what impact would he have coming into the race? I'm not trolling him. I'm looking for your honest opinion. Well, it depends how he comes in. What did he say in the op-ed? He was talking about the insincerity of the Biden administration to control costs and how everybody was incompetent. And it certainly there's some waste and we can control some spending and everybody needs to grow up and get in a room and just manage the budget for the American people and stop playing politics. Yeah, I think the headline of the article, actually, to your point, Jacob, was much worse than the substance of the article, Sachs. But if you see the headline, I don't know, Nick, if you can just throw it up there. It was brutal. The headline and the byline of the article, I think, was more damaging than the substance of the article. Biden's Inflation Reduction Act betrayal. Instead of implementing the law as intended, his administration subverts it for ideological, ideological ends. I have to think that Joe was responsible for that, for the titling of that article. You don't, he would you know, get permission to approve it. Right. In yeah, a byline and like by this. the way, I think if you guys remember, we talked about this when that act was first published. And if you guys remember, I, I think I pulled up the CBO data, the CBO model, and it showed for the first five years, this thing burns a couple hundred billion dollars. And then there's some expectation that there'll be some sudden boom in revenue in the right. out years. And then you right. make the money back in the out years. So it's total like accounting shenanigans for him to have made the claim in the first place that the IRA was actually going to be like a net deficit reduction or debt reduction. In fact, it's all just accounting shenanigans and it's just a massive spend package particularly in the near term when it matters most. I think I told you guys this, but I think this was like, when was the last time I was in Washington? Probably, what is it, March now? So maybe it was January I was there. And I saw Schumer and Mark Warner, and I spent about two hours with Manchin. He is really impressive. He's cool, he's interesting, he's thoughtful, he's moderate. Manchin's like a formidable guy. So this will be really interesting if he steps in there and tries so to take it between Nikki Haley and Manchin, where do you uh, write your check? I'd probably write a check to both, to be honest. Feels like a good ticket to me. I've always wanted to see the, the cross Could you imagine a, a Democrat and Republican merging somehow and like running it together? It would be the greatest. Oh my God. I've been pitching that for years. I think oh that's like a, my a, God. a clear path. David Freeberg may have just come up with one of the most disruptive ideas in American politics that's ever been floated. Mm. Mm. Oh Manchin, my God! Haley. Mansion Halley, Halley Mansion. Keep dreaming. Mansion Halley, yeah. Just uh, my comment on this. So, so first of all, I remember when you know Mansion did a good job stopping Biden's three and a half trillion dollar Build Back Better. Remember, it was him and Cinema that were the holdouts. Yeah. But then Mansion compromised and gave Biden a seven hundred fifty billion dollar version of it. And I guess now he's complaining that Biden didn't live up to his end of the bargain in doing the deficit reduction. But quite frankly. Many commentators said at the time that the bill's claims to deficit reduction were preposterous and that would never happen. So quite frankly, you know, Manchin shouldn't have been euchred or hoodwinked by Biden. Everyone was basically saying there'll never be any deficit reduction out of this bill. It's just more spending. So I don't really feel bad for Manchin here saying that somehow he was betrayed by Biden. He should have known better. Now, in terms of him running yeah, I think as a Democrat who's figured out how to get himself elected in West Virginia, which is a plus 20 red state, he obviously knows how to appeal to the center. The problem for him is just how do you get the Democratic Party nomination? Because he's far to the right of your average Democratic Party voter. If he wants to run as an independent, that's a different story. And th that would really throw a curveball into the race. But I don't see him doing that. I think it's kind of a stretch. And this is the problem with a lot of these fantasy candidates is that you know, centrist or moderate voters might like them, but they can't get the nomination of their party. And unless you mean you like get... Trump and Obama, those were fantasy candidates. I don't think so. I mean, Trump was not a fantasy candidate. He's the ultimate. Well, he was an candidate. outsider, but he yeah, appealed to the base that's... of the party. He appealed to the base of the party. What I'm saying is in order to get the nomination of a major party, you have to appeal to its base. And I don't think Manchin appeals to the base of the Democratic Party. He's out of step with it. He's out mm -hmm. of step with it in ways that I like. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I don't see how he's going to get a nomination. Chris Christie, what do you think of him? He seems like he's about to come in the race too, David. Pointless. He's viable? Pointless. He's just, pointless. He's just, he's just clutter. Okay. Pointless. 